he started, uh, <laughs> you know, the elections, how can elections continue without the ballot papers? Sure. Well, that has been uh, Mwishmiwa Benjamin Langat, uh, of course, telling us uh, some of the reactions expected from this area regarding the cancellation of the uh, nominate the cancellation of the Jubilee Party primaries. Well, uh, back to you, but of course we will be keeping uh, we will be keeping at, uh, an eye on what it transpires within the South Rift uh, region, Kericho, Bomet, and of course bring you up to date. Back to you, Betty. All right, thank you very much, Jeffrey, for that discussion and the insights we've been able to get from that. All right, now we want to move on to another county, and this time round it's Bomet. Uh, it was very interesting, and I want to bring in Duncan Kayember. Thank you very much, Duncan, for uh, joining us on Friday Briefing tonight. Now, Bomet is very different because at first the aspirants actually postponed all by themselves uh, the primaries only for Andrew Musangi, the, uh, uh, the head of the National Elections Board for Jubilee Party, coming out later in the day to say that it's, uh, it's not uh, upon the aspirants to cancel or postpone or to give any direction. And then now later on in the day, you have this decision. Quite an interesting uh, turn of events, especially for Bomet. Uh, how are people receiving this news of this uh, nullification? Yes, uh, Kongoi Betty, I'm live from uh, Mogogosiek village in Konoin constituency. Well, in other words, I'm saying thank you and I'm coming into live from uh, Mogogosiek here in uh, Konoin constituency. That tells you I would have been able to learn now that uh, there was nothing much happening in the course of the day save for the drama. They had been told that as aspirants they have no mandate to actually call for the postponement, but it looks like uh, they saw it coming, they knew that there will be trouble, and for the National uh, 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 Elections Board to finally uh, admit and then cancel the whole process, then it tells you perhaps uh, for Jubilee they might have danced themselves uh, too early before the main dance, perhaps they danced themselves lame before the main dance, and now we don't know what they will be saying, because remember, Jubilee, they had said that uh, they will, they've set the highest standards so far ever seen in this country in the era of, in the return of multi party democracy. They said that this process will be fair and uh, free and fair above board. And the Secretary General Rafael Tuju himself had said, whoever that perhaps will prove that there can be manipulation to the system, he's ready to pay. I don't know whether he's uh, doing the calculations because he had said it will be above board, but that is a story for another day. Perhaps none other than uh, the guest to tell us much more this evening, uh, Dr. Julius Cones, uh, one of the aspirants that actually were to participate in this. What do you uh, make of uh, the turn of events now? The entire process has been uh, cancelled countrywide. Your reaction to that? Let me first say, I think it's a disappointment to the party. Uh, it's unfortunate that this has happened. I know the party leader and the deputy party leader meant well, but uh, the secretariat, the party secretariat has let them down. Uh, definitely, they didn't prepare very well for this uh, exercise. Uh, initially we thought it was only our county, but now uh, from what we hear it's uh, like across the entire uh, country that uh, the exercise has failed. Um, to, for them to have been talking every other time uh, and issuing statements that uh, they are going to ensure that are, the process will be free and fair, they have put in place all the mechanisms to, uh, to ensure that th this exercise is a success. and finally have a 100% uh, failure rate means there is a lot to be done uh, at the secretariat level. And I hope um, after this, uh, the party leadership needs to do something to clean up uh, the secretariat. There are a few days uh, before the IBC set timelines. And remember that uh, ODM initially wanted to go ahead. Mm. IBC said, no, it can only go within the stipulated time or guidelines as per IBC. Now that the whole process has been cancelled countrywide, uh, pave, uh, awaiting new date, do you think between now and uh, Wednesday, which is the final day, do you think the exercise will finally take off and be, uh, run smoothly given the hitches that have been experienced today? 
Um, there is a lot of assurance still from the party headquarters that uh, they'll be able to uh, manage uh, the process probably by Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. But um, I think this cuts across uh, the parties, e e uh, not not just Jubilee, I think also NASA has, has their own issues. Uh, probably if it doesn't go well, uh, probably the two coalitions can come together and seek for, for more days, like three or four extra days, and, 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 and IPC can, can review that. But, uh, but it will be uh, so unfair to aspirants who have uh, really put in their resources, their time, know, knowing that uh, this, uh, this nomination were going to take place at this time. So let me hope that uh, the, the, the party uh, has taken uh, enough measures to ensure that uh, we have these elections within the, the stipulated time. But remember that a party like ODM, when they wanted to go earlier, IBC stopped them. Do you think it is even possible that if now Jubilee fails to conduct within the remaining three or four days, then that it will be fair for them to agree and then persuade IBC to push? Do you think uh, Kenyans would uh, see uh, maybe IBC being fair to that? It might be. Of course, it might be interpreted to appear like, uh, I mean, if Jubilee, of course, was going to ask for more days uh, and, and, and NASA doesn't ask for more days, it might be interpreted to look like uh, probably Jubilee would want to um, twist uh, IEPC. But in my own uh, analysis, I think even NASA may not be able to, to, to manage all the nominations within the timeline. And let me ask you this quick question as we wind up. Uh, in terms of uh, resources, we know that uh, over 7,000 aspirants in Jubilee alone, uh, massive resources many had invested in terms of the financial uh, uh, investment that aspirants had put into this. You are running a gubernatorial race. Do you think uh, uh, it is it will be a major setback now that you'll have more days again to await in terms of how much you had put into this and you're just one of the thousands of aspirants? In terms of financial uh, 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 losses or setback, how much? could we be talking about on average? Definitely, definitely it's going to be a setback. An extra day means uh, extra expenses. It's not, uh, it's not cheap to, to run a campaign. Uh, Every day politics change. If you are to maintain the pace uh, of support as you have, it means you have to spend more resources. Uh, definitely it's going to cost us a lot. Uh, even if we are to do these nominations on Monday, uh, these two, three extra days would cost us another three to five million. You, you never know for, 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 for some of us. This we are not prepared for some some people, but anyway, this has happened. We still have to to, to manage and see what what to do within the timeline. Well, thank you very much. But today you have it from uh, uh, Dr. Julius Cornes saying that an extra day means extra expense, and he says for some of them between now in the event the exercise will be on Monday. It could translate between three to five million. That tells you how much it's, uh, it's at stake, both financially and politically. I think that is where we'll have to wrap it uh, from this end. Over to you, Betty in studio. Duncan, just before I let you go, if you can hear me, uh, very briefly, you covered the Busia primaries uh, for ODM a few days ago. What comparisons, if different or similar, can you draw from uh, both parties? I think um, for ODM, uh, they knew what was at stake. And of course, you know, as it stands, ODM is the single biggest political party in the country. Of course, the oldest being Kanu. But uh, I think uh, uh, for the various nominations that ODM has been going through, Perhaps that is why they wanted to have this process staggered and done within three weeks. For Jubilee, of course, uh, this this could be a new uh, uh, some. It could be a new aspect they are venturing in, given that in 2013 when they formed the URP and TNA, the primaries were not as competitive as they are. But Jubilee having collapsed all parties, uh, parties having amalgamated into one outfit, and then 